Good day, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us again in our Word Workout. Today, let's continue our journey in the book of Genesis. I will be reading from Genesis chapter 1, verse 6 to 25. And we'll be looking at our reflection from verse 25 today. The Word of God says, Then God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters and which were above the firmament and it was so and god called the firmament heaven so the evening and the morning were the second day then god said let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear and it was so and god called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters he called seas and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb, the yield seed, and the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind, whose seed is in itself on the earth. And it was so. And the earth was brought forth grass, the herb that yields seed according to its kind, and the tree that yields fruit, whose seed is in itself according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the third day. Then God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and seasons, and for days and years, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it was so. Then God made two great lights, the greater light that ruled the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were there the fourth day. Then God said, Let the waters abound with an abundance of living creatures. And let birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens. So God created sea creatures and every living thing that moves with which the waters abounded according to their kind. And every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them saying, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let birds multiply on the earth. So the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature according to its kind, cattle and creeping thing and beasts of the earth, each according to its kind. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to its kind, cattle according to its kind, and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind and god saw that it was good praise god for that beautiful passage that we just read today let's look at our life application reflection from the word of god god saw that his work was good people sometimes feel guilty for having a good time or feeling good about an accomplishment this need not be so just as god felt good about his work we can be pleased with ours However, we should not feel good about our work if God would not be pleased with it. What are you doing that pleases both you and God? Beloved, today, that's going to be the question that we will be pondering in our life. What are you doing that pleases both you and God? Always remember, beloved, that in our life, we need to put God first especially in our accomplishments, in every decision-making that we do. That is why today, I want to share to you some practical tips how to make sure that it is God-glorifying, it is God-pleasing in everything that we do every day. So, tip number one is this. Always focus in the Lord. If you have the awareness that God is with you and God is at work in your life, you've got that focus. And in everything you do, it will proceed to the next tip. Tip number two is this. Always ask the question, will God be pleased? Will God be glorified? If I do this plan, if I do this initiative, will God be honored 
in that particular action. And tip number three, all you need to do, beloved, is when you are doing it, do it with all your heart. I hope and pray that today, as you take down of the three practical tips, it is my prayer that we can give God the glory and honor in everything we do. So, beloved, thank you so much for watching this Word Workout. See you tomorrow in our next topic in verse 26. Before I end, let me encourage you to please subscribe in our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Stay strong. God bless.